Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, the difference between web server and application server. Uh, if you take web server, it is uh, designed to support uh, hypertext transfer protocol and uh, it can serve uh, HTTP content. Uh, if you take app server, uh, it can also support uh, hypertext transfer protocol and uh, uh, it can serve HTTP content. But it is not just limited to hypertext transfer protocol. Uh, it can uh, provide support for other protocols like uh, RMA, RPC, etc. Okay, and uh, web server is mostly designed to support uh, static content. Okay, uh, but using web server, uh, we can uh, generate uh, dynamic content and send it to the client. That is also possible using web server because uh, web server have uh, plugins to support uh, scripting languages like uh, JSP, Perl, uh, PHP, etc and if you take uh, application server uh, it have uh, uh, web server as an integral part so whatever web server can do uh, that application server can also do okay additionally app server have uh, components and features to support application level services like uh, connection pooling object pooling transaction support uh, messaging services etc okay and uh, uh, web servers are well suited for uh, static content app servers are uh, well suited for uh, dynamic content and if you take a web server it contains only web container or servlet container so it can be used for uh, servlet jsp struts uh, jsf uh, development but it can't be used for uh, ejb development uh, but uh, if you take application server it contains uh, web container and ejp container so it can be used for uh, servlet jsp struts jsf development and also it can be used for ejp development and if you take application server uh, it is most heavier than uh, web server in terms of uh, resource utilization and uh, this is about uh, difference between web server and application server and thanks for watching bye